moving to next very important drug interaction it is interaction of sildenafil with nitrates we know nitrates they are used in treatment of enzyme nitrates act by releasing nitric oxide nitric oxide increase cyclic gmp and cyclic gmp cause vasodilation in case of nitrates predominantly there is dilatation of veins more than arteries and this venodilation will decrease the preload and the person's heart work decreases and the angina is relieved okay so nitrates are used in angina but after the production the cyclic gmp is metabolized it is metabolized by an enzyme called as phosphodiesterase now sildenafil is a drug which inhibit phosphodiesterase sildenafil it act by inhibiting phosphodiesterase it is a drug used in erectile dysfunction for impotence we use sildenafil now a person is having angina person is taking nitrates daily and one day for erectile dysfunction the person takes sildenafil also so what will happen sildenafil inhibit phosphodiesterase so cyclic gmp cannot be broken so nitrates are producing already lot of cyclic gmp and that cannot be broken so the level of cyclic gmp increases significantly so when cyclic gmp becomes very high so there will be severe vasodilation not slight very much vasodilation so there will be significant vasodilation of arteries also normally nitrates mainly dilate veins so when there is dilatation of arteries that will decrease the systemic blood pressure the person can develop severe hypotension and the person can die so because of this drug interaction sildenafil is contraindicated in a patient taking nitrates okay so we will not do the other ways that we will continue sildenafil and stop nitrates we should know our priorities okay so priority is to treat angina so nitrate we will continue and ask the person not to take sildenafil okay